Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be making cookies. So let's start off by adding the butter. Right now I need one, one, two grams. Now I've just finished one set and I'm at one, and so I'm at 30 grams. All done. Time to add 62 grams of caster sugar. All done. Time to do 75 grams of muscovado sugar. I need you to get a spoon. Took a few tries, but I'm done. Three quarters of golden syrup. All done. Now, three quarters of vanilla extract. All done, time to whisk. Time to do the egg. Egg done, now let's beat it. Now I need to add in one tablespoon of flour. All added, keep mixing. Okay, so if you're wondering what flour is, it's plain flour. Just tell you guys. Now, let's add 179 grams of plain flour. Sifted. It's Then add half a teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda. All done, about a quarter of salt. All done, quick fix break. Now sip them all together. Okay, that's all done. Now for the sensational thing. Fix it, but start by doing small. And if the hole in the middle is so cool because it looks so nice. Is, guys, it's not a few seconds together, so I might have to add like a tad of milk, maybe to stick it together. Normally, normally you shouldn't do this, but I might have to because it's literally all in pieces. Actually, I'm going to add golden syrup because that's sticky. It's better, but it still needs a tad more. Okay, I mixed it all together. This came pretty good, now let's add the chocolate chips. By the way, you need 170 grams of chocolate, milk or dark or white, I don't mind. All added. Now it's mixed. By the way, I'm eating some leftover dark chocolate. This is a tip. Try and have soft chocolate but not too melted. So if you want to put it in the milk, might go for about 10 seconds, maybe 20. Okay, now scoop it onto the what onto the baking paper. Um, it says three, but that was so I'd say actually about one or two, maybe. Remember, you should have put the. I know I didn't say this earlier. Probably should have put the temperature on 200 degrees. So yeah, spoon on. It says don't press it down because they will flatten like a lot as well. Trust me, I've made these before. So yeah, and cook them for 20 biscuits 10 minutes and 12 for like nice biscuits. Like not too hard, not rock hard biscuits, but like really nice biscuits. So yeah, and you might want to keep checking them after the things or whatever your oven does. Maybe like, you know, Check them, make sure they're good. Check like they make sure they're okay and they're not like too soft inside. These recipes are always a tiny bit off. 